What's going on, guys? It's your boy Zim KO Boxing. <laughs> it's your boy Zim KO Boxing. I'm going crazy. It's your boy Rico here for Zim KO Boxing. Back at you again with another video. Now, guys, um, sorry, I just had a thought to myself. That's why I'm just dying right now. Michael Hunter, hunting season. What, what were his other aliases? Um, yeah, all of that. Bro, take no, no. Don't ever, don't ever say that you're the can man, that you can um, and will fight any uh, any heavyweight in the top 10, top 15. All of this nonsense, rude boy. What's wrong with you, bro? You had a, You literally said no to the biggest payday that you'll ever have in your career. And I will tell you this now for nothing, big man. Okay? What? Like, okay. I'll tell you my thoughts. The reason why he did not take this fight with Filip Hergovic is because he does not believe that he can beat Filip Hergovic right now. It's as simple as that. Hergovic is a beast, through boy. Okay? How can you have a man like Alan Babich, bro, who's, who's coming, weighing in at 198, right? Wanting all the smoke with him. Wanting all the smoke with him. And you're there. Bit of a seasoned fighter. Um, done great in, in obviously your only loss at, has come to Alexander Usek at Cruiserweight. Obviously, the man was the Cruiserweight GOAT um, for this generation. But you you sell yourself as it, as this person who will fight for free this and do this or whatever. But your main decision now has been based off of money. Um, Kelly Saulin, like... He, he's a funny geezer like he's a very very fu funny geezer both of them the the, the Saulan brothers but the thing is that what he says was 100% correct my guy how are you bro you're guaranteed to fight Anthony Joshua or Tyson Fury or for the belt you're guaranteed bro and instead you fight a career a cruiserweight that they just so happen to insert in the top 15 in the I think it's the W is it the WBA WBA just full of fools anyway um but I just can't. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You could have lit. You could have been on the AJ undercard, bro. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, you could have been. You, I would have had that as the chief support. Co, uh, chief support. Hundred percent. Obviously, I can't say co-main, but um, yeah, bro, you could have been hunting. And they would have paid you to hunt. I think what Salen offered, what I think it was like, I think he bid like 600k for that fight. But you're not going to fight Hergovic and establish yourself in the heavyweight division because you want to fight on Triller with somebody that nobody knows who's been a career cruiserweight, right? And you're, 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 ah, oh, collecting bounties. What bounty, bro? What bounty? You said no to the bounty, big man. You said no. Okay. You said no. And by the way, how are you telling man that you're going to fight for free when, uh, like, this guy? I shake my head on you, Michael Hunter. And the rest of the boxing community shakes their head as well because that is just pure nonsense. Pure nonsense, bro. Do you know how many people would kill to be in your position and you get offered an IBF eliminator? Nobody wants to fight Hergovic right now. They're offered it to, um, um, I walk this earth like a god. They offered it to Charles Martin. <laughs> My guy Charles Martin. They've who else have they offered it to? I think Hergovic is is fourth in the IBF. And they've offered the, the, the first spot is always vacant because that goes to them, goes to the mandatory. So they've offered it to you. They've offered it they've offered it to, to the, the first three top positions and you've all said no. Well, like Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? Am I missing something? I don't understand. I don't understand. Collecting bounties, doing this and doing... Bro, stop it. Stop it with all that noise and stop it with all that nonsense. I think Jake Paul and chilling out with those, the young boys over there got you a li little bit gassed. Um, I thought the fight with Povekian that you won that. I actually gave it to you by a round, I, I, I think. Um, but you have... I think your momentum's declined quite badly. 
I wouldn't say that it's necessarily your fault in terms of the fact you did. I think Eddie did obviously. He didn't extend your 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 contract. Um, I personally would have because I think you're a very very talented fighter and you can cause some real problems. And you got a lot of big fights, bro. But at the end of the day, you're moving mad, and I don't want you to be. I don't want you ever to say about collecting bounties and shit when you're fighting career cruiserweights, bro. Okay, and it's not even like you've been out for that long. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And tag the bounty hunter in this because I think he needs to actually get some real um, some real facts said on set situation. Have a <laughs> oh, like always, guys, God bless. Did the wink a little bit early there.